Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be explaining how to complete the weaving for my plaid blanket scarf. This pattern is free on my website and you can find the link below. If you're watching this on the pattern page, I hope this helps you out with the final step in this pattern. So let's get into it. Okay, so I have my scarf in front of me, making sure it is facing us the correct way, and I'm going to take my color B yarn and cut two strips that are about 10 inches longer than the length of the blanket scarf. Thread that through a yarn needle and start at the bottom right corner of your piece. Make note that this first row is a bit different than the rest. First, I'm going to take my needle through the middle of the first single crochet stitch and back up through the middle of the single crochet in the next row. I will continue to weave back and forth a few times before pulling the yarn through. Make sure you leave a few inches of yarn at the end for the future fringe. Should be about four inches or so. Continue to weave back and forth until you reach the very top row. You will also end with a few inches of yarn at the top. Okay, now is when we will switch up our weaving a little bit. As you can see, I completed a few rows already. This new pattern will continue for the rest of the weaving, minus the last row. If you started from the front with your yarn needle in the last row, you will need to begin from the back. That is because we are alternating the side that we insert our needle in to accomplish the woven look. Place your needle through the middle of the single crochet stitch again, but this time come up back through the chain one space from the row above. Make sure to always place your needle through the front of the single crochet stitch and through the back of the chain one space. Keep repeating this process until you reach the top row. You will complete 14 total rows of color B and then switch to color A and complete another 14 rows. Keep repeating this color switch every 14 rows until you have reached the end. That makes a total of 153 rows, so put on a good movie or two and weave away. Alright, we have completed all of the weaving. Phew! Anyway, now all we have to do is tie the fringe together and trim it. As you can see, each pair of woven yarn strands are alternating from front to back. Note that we will be tying together in pairs, not by the individual strand. Take the first pair of yarn strands and tie them with the next yarn pair. I tie them in a square knot and continue to tie all of the pairs together. Make sure that you do not pull too tightly as you can make your weaving uneven. After we tie everything together, go ahead and cut the fringe to your desired length. I cut mine to about 2 inches. And we are done! Now you can enjoy your piece as a scarf, shawl, or lap blanket. Thank you so much for watching! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to check out my blog linked below.